Do you think this guitar is worth $13,500? This Ibanez model was recently listed in two separate auctions in two separate parts of the world for over $13,000. If I could get $13,000 for it right now, should I take it? Let's discuss the hype going on for these John Petrucci guitars right now and see whether or not these prices are justified. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you what I think the guitar is actually worth and where you can still find these for sale, sometimes for much better prices. First, let's discuss the specifications of this guitar so we know exactly what we're talking about. I'll go in close real quick so you can get a good look at it. It is beautiful, but let's talk about what's actually on this guitar. This model is known as the Ibanez JPM, which stands for John Petrucci model. When John Petrucci was with Ibanez in the 90s, Ibanez released five different versions of this guitar. So this is his signature model. All of the versions of this guitar had a different color scheme, but they were based on the same Dan Lawrence artwork, this Picasso design. This particular model is the Ibanez JPM 90, which was released in 1998 in celebration of Hoshino's 90th anniversary. Now Hoshino is the parent company of Ibanez. The other Ibanez JPMs that were released were the P1, the P2, the P3, and the P4. So the specs of the guitar, you have a basswood body and a flamed maple top. The board on this anniversary model is an ebony fretboard. The neck is maple. And the tremolo is the low pro edge. You have a three-way switch, which toggles between the bridge and the neck pickup. And then when you put it in the middle, it splits the coils and plays these inner coils. There were approximately 450 of these built, but I've never heard 100% confirmation on that, so I've heard between 420 and 450. So as you can see, this particular RG is not very different from hundreds of thousands, if not millions of other RGs that Ibanez has produced. It just happens to be a special anniversary model and a signature model on top of it. I mean, it's a basswood body with a flame maple top and a maple neck, Probably the most expensive thing on this guitar is that low pro edge tremolo, which is very nice. In fact, let's just grab another Ibanez right quick here just to compare. This is the other Ibanez that I own and it's the Ibanez 3EX FM1. It has a flame maple top as well. It has a basswood back and a maple neck. It does have a hardtail instead of a tremolo, but I bought this for about $300 new. And then I put upgraded DiMarzio's in it and now it sounds as good as any thousand dollar guitar out there. And it plays great, the quality is quite good. So are the only differences between my $300 guitar and my potential $13,000 guitar? Is it the Picasso design and the tremolo and the ebony fretboard? I don't know. Some people will say, well, your signature model was made in Japan and this one was made in Indonesia and there's a big difference in quality control. That may be true but I'm very happy with this guitar, use it all the time. Now, I think the Ibanez JPM is a stunning guitar and I've had tons of people make me offers over the years, but do I really think it's worth $13,000? Let's look at a few listings I found this week to just get some market perspective. And of course, I realize some people may put ridiculous prices on some listings, but I pulled several just so we could look at a bunch that are currently out there. The first one is a JPM 90 listed for $9,649 in Belgium. That's a very specific number, which is smart to do, by the way. The second one is a P2 from the same seller, listed for $6,811. Here's another P2 for $6,637 in Austria. Here is a P1 in Italy, listed for $11,238. Here's a P4 in Colorado for $7,000. And then this last listing I'll show for a 90th is for 13,500 in New York. And there was a second JPM 90 also listed by a different seller for over 13,000, but it was gone before I could go back and get the screenshot. As you can see, this is not from one seller and these are from countries all over the world. Also check out this listing that I found. This is an RG Art 1 for sale in Australia for $6,677. I used to own one of these, so I do know these guitars well. It has a seven millimeter thick maple top with natural binding and a basswood body. It also has a geometric stain finish reminiscent of the JPM 90 in some respects. And here's the kicker. There were only 24 made as opposed to around 450 of the JPM 90s. 
So the question is, why is the JPM so highly sought after right now that it creates insane prices for a basswood body RG? Is John Petrucci more popular than ever? Are these guitars rarer than ever? Are the sellers super greedy or are they simply responding to what the market can bear? Keep this in mind. Several of those listings I just showed you have many watchers and many offers have been made. So people are watching those and aren't turned off immediately by the exorbitant prices. So how much do I personally think this JPM is worth, this anniversary model? I'm guessing if you had to just sum up the cost of the parts on this guitar, maybe in current prices, five to $700 worth of materials. I realize if you're gonna get a replica made of this, it's gonna cost a lot more because of the labor involved, but I'm just talking about the cost of the parts. Based on the current market and the listings I've seen for the past couple of years, I do not think this guitar is worth $13,000 nor do I think they will sell for $13,000. However, I do believe this guitar will sell to the right buyer for $10,000 right now. So my best guess as to what these guitars are currently worth, the anniversary models is all I'm going to speak to. I would say between 7,000 and 10,000, depending on condition. Otherwise, I don't think you would have so many people listing these over seven, eight, nine thousand dollars $9,000. If you've got thousands to burn, where can you find a guitar like this? Well, there are three good places to look. Reverb.com is where a lot of them surface. Also, there are a couple of Ibanez JPM Facebook groups, and occasionally a member will put theirs up for sale. So if you're fast and you have the funds, you too can have an Ibanez JPM. You will see the occasional eBay listing, but those seem to be pretty rare right now, and Reverb seems to have taken over the auctions for these particular guitars. So please tell me two things in the comments below. What do you think the guitar is actually worth in the current market situation? And also, what do you think the actual parts on this guitar would cost? Because I really don't know. I was just giving a guess earlier. If you currently own one of the Ibanez JPMs, any of them, comment below and let me know which one you have and what is it worth to you. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you're notified of new videos. I'll see you all next time. Spend your money wisely.